Hey guys, welcome back to HMHT. So this is a follow-up for an update that was just released last week that I've been using for about four days now and it's macOS Pixel 11.3 Beta 4. As you can see, this is the build number that we got. We got 20E521C. So realistically speaking, we took about three steps in the positive direction and it was released on March 15. So since the release date, I've been using it on my MacBook Pro that you see here and if we go to actually see the release notes here you'll be able to see that there isn't a ton of new features and changes that changed so up to only this portion this is these are all the release notes that we have for macOS Pix 11.3 beta 4 and you can see that it only mentions support for the developer transition kit which is no longer available as of 11.3 beta 3 and also a little bit on swift user interface so not much that changed and since this is more of like a follow-up video to my initial update that i did i will just highlight some of the other changes that are worth mentioning or noting and the first one that i have to mention is that for the united states now this is something that apple is rolling out slowly and it has to do with covid19 vaccination centers whereby the apple maps is being updated to show these centers and since this is something that's just you know coming out right now it's at the moment only for the united states of america so depending on the states that you're depending on the state that you are in you might be able to see this so for me since i'm in canada this is not something that i'll be able to show you but if you do get an update in the app store when it comes to the apple maps application it could be that your region has been you know added to the regions that are now supported by this this is something that you know is slowly being implemented just make sure when you get the update you read the release notes just to see what has changed and if you know you get the vaccination centers and you can actually ask siri to also show you where vaccination centers so basically you say the phrase and say where can i get a covid vaccination and a maps will quickly pop up and show you where you can get the closest vaccination center closest nearest to you or your location which is something good it's very convenient since you know different regions are now taking bookings in canada it's something that's just been introduced so it's just one of those things that i thought i should highlight and when it does come out i'm sure there will be an update too when it comes to siri because siri that you see here in the top right corner needs to be updated in order for it to you know process this command where can i get a covid19 vaccination so it's good to see that they are moving with the times and if you're in the united states this is something that that you can always test out and see how it works now basically there isn't much that changed since my initial update video that i did four days ago let's just go to youtube to see the community pool how this update has been for most people so i basically asked how is mac os pixel 11.3 beta 4 working for you then uh, you can see that at the time i'm recording this video we have around 180 votes thank you thank you so much for taking part in this youtube community poll it helps us get a bigger picture or a better understanding of how it's been for most people and as you can see this is usually what i get for most of my community results you can see that the first voted option is most most of the times it's always i'm on macOS pixel 11.2 or older and the second most voted options is that you know it's great and as you can see in this case we have 19 percent so 19 percent of 180 votes say that you know this update beta 4 is working great for them and two percent said it's terrible two percent is a very wrong number it just goes to show that not a lot of people updated to this beta 4 and also if we go to the third option you see that it says okay but some issues but 
that's just five percent and the most voted option is 63 percent of 180 votes which is over half by the way so you can see that they said i'm on macos pixel 11.2 or order and the last option as you can see here says i use windows and that's about 11 percent of the people thank you so much for taking part in this youtube community poll and if we just see some of the comments that we have here you can see that masodi said macos Big Sur 11.2.3 has been great for me on my MacBook Air Mid 2017 13 inch without any issues. So it's good to see that he's actually updated to 11.2.3 because there was a security issue on 11.2.2 that was that caused Apple to release 11.2.3. So that's good. And I believe he basically voted that I'm on 11.2 or older. So a lot of people haven't really updated to this 11.3 beta. And of course, you know, if it's a Mac you use on a daily, it's not advised to update to a beta. So that's the YouTube community result. And if you are just curious to see some other updates on how the results are going, we have watchOS and we have iOS 14.5 and these are all beta force by the way so thank you so much for taking part and if we just go to see some of the performance i mean when it comes to battery right if we go to system preferences and then go to where it says battery right there so i've been testing the battery for the last four days just to see how it's been so on monday you can see that i got about five four hours and a half to five hours and using over a hundred let's say 110 percent of you know energy so that was quite short and if we go on tuesday you can see that i actually had about five hours using about 50 percent of charge so this is one of the best days and i know that on monday and on thursday i was actually testing video playback time so this is mostly video playback time i believe here i started off by playing actual videos in the mac and then i moved on to uh, chrome and then safari and also on thursday i did the same thing it was video playback testing so you can see that uh, i got really high energy usage associated to those days and that explains this and on friday i'm not sure what happened my screen on time usage is missing but you can see the energy that i used and as you can see here today i just you know started recording this video and there isn't much that changed when it comes to energy usage here but this update beta 4 is on a lower end compared to beta 3 because beta 3 i was actually averaging about six to seven hours of screen on time irregardless of whether i was doing a video test or just using it on a daily that's how my battery is performing it's very low compared to the other betas compared to to be specific compared to beta 3 or beta 2 of mac OS pixel 11.3 and basically it's not one that i would advise you update to if you're not yet on 11.3 beta as you can see still a little bit low when it comes to performance but you know there's a high chance that we could be seeing this update pretty soon so as you might have seen from my initial update video we were expecting for a supposed apple event on march 23rd so on this day we were hoping that you know most apple leakers or apple rumors would come true and there would be an event on march 23rd and usually what apple does when there's going to be an event on like march 23rd they send out invitations the previous week on a tuesday so up to about midnight john prosser from fpt was actually waiting for apple to see if they would you know put up the news report in their newsroom and see if his leaks or rumors would be confirmed and the day actually ended and nothing was sent out and john actually created his own banner to try and trick news outlets and the internet on twitter and surprisingly a lot of news outlets and people bought it they actually thought that apple did send out an event but it turns out it was from john prosser himself and he was just basically playing this is something that john prosser created if you saw something like this this is not the official thing this is something that's meant to be a meme so there is no apple event that's going to take place next week however those same apple leakers and also the same apple rumors seems to suggest that the event was actually cancelled intentionally in order to you know to 
throw off the track record of those leakers. So that same Apple event has been shifted to April. We are yet to see which dates these are going to be. And at this time, it's not official. It's not something that's coming from Apple. It's coming from various leakers and sources. So when it comes to, you know, when we can officially see Mac OS Pixel 11.3, since you can see today is the 20th of March, I'm hoping we can see it the week of the 22nd to the 26th. Since the first beta of Mac OS Pixel 11.3, Apple has been on a two week release cycle. And if they do move on to this week of the 22nd to the 26th, it will be the first time in, in the release of Mac OS Pixel 11.3 that Apple has moved on to a weekly release cycle. So if they do that, then the release candidate version should be coming out this week, but it's something that's in the air at this time. And the release candidate version could still be coming after a week or two. So we are here to tell. And then usually the release candidate is meant to be final. So if something is found within the release candidate that needs to be addressed further, then the release in RC2, which, you know, at that time we are looking at an april release if we get to an rc2 but then if not then the release candidate version one tends to be the final release and then after a few days or the following week apple releases the official version so hopefully we get an rc this week and the official version on the 30th if not, then we get an RC2 and then I'm looking at the official version, perhaps between the 6th or the 13th of April. Now, other than that, that's about it for me. If you like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and stay safe and have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next video.